from Nobody Calls Me Leah and it's a Sunday afternoon. I just recently moved into my new planner and journal clutch. Up until this time, I've been using this clutch from Kultura, a local store here. And it's pretty nice, but as you can see, it's pretty dirty now. <laughs> I think I've been using this for maybe two years now and I wanted something new because the main trouble I have with this clutch is that it doesn't have any pockets no sense of organization anywhere <laughs> so it's just a dumping ground for my planner and journal supplies and I usually find myself rummaging around in here trying to look for the things I need so I wanted something that had pockets and was more organized. So I am very late to the game but I finally got the Delphonics utility pouch. I have it um, lying upwards so you can see the front of it. This is the small size and it's the black and white striped version. This is actually used from Carousel. It was used only once and it still had the tags on it. So I just jumped on it real quick um, because I've been waiting for the local stores here to restock this for a while. I actually want the medium size but I cannot find it anywhere and currently I just don't want to have to deal with shipping and logistics problems because it's kind of tough here right now with all the lockdowns and everything to get anything shipped so i looked in carousel and found one i settled for the small size for now but eventually i want to find the medium size in blue <laughs> so we'll see about that but for now i'm very happy with it as you can see I'm going to show you everything that's inside and I how I set it up um, in a little bit. I just want to explain why I like using a clutch. I'm not going out these days at all, but I like having a pouch on my desk to keep my everyday planner and journal supplies ready. I have a lot of drawers here where I keep a bunch of stuff but a lot of the time I just want something that's within reach so a planner journal pouch really helps with that okay so I'm going to zoom you in and we'll get started okay so here is my pouch I've moved my pins over from my old pouch to this one, so I'm just gonna run through them real quick. This is a cat sipping on milk tea because I love cats and milk tea. And then these are Pokemon Go Community Day pins from our Discord server. I play the game and I love it. I actually love Pokemon in general. I play the games, um, mainly the handheld games. And then there are a bunch of BTS pins here because I'm ARMY. Shout out to ARMY friends. This is mainly Jin, who's my bias. And I also have his BT21 character here, RJ. Plus his Tiny Tan character in the back. This is Jin from Mic Drop because Mic Drop's mainly the reason why I got into BTS. And then I have a couple more pins. This is a coffee bean iced coffee pin because I love coffee. And this is the letter J because though I go by Leah here, my full name is Julian Leah. So there. Okay, so just showing you this pouch, it has four pockets in front um, there are two pretty good sized square pockets here 
and then one slim pocket on the side so I think that's perfect for pens and I think a lot of people use that for pens and then there's a big open pocket here so there are four and then in the back there are two more pockets one smaller one and then one rectangular one and then there's another big one that has velcro okay so i'm just gonna show you what's here first um so i have two pens here these are pilot petite pens one is a fountain pen with a dark blue ink and then the other is a brush pen with this bright blue ink i love these because they're so small and handy and perfect for a planner pouch <laughs> like i mentioned i love using a pouch so i could have all my essentials ready i don't have to look around my desk and my drawers here but i also set this up for it to be ready with everything i need if ever i do need to do some planning and journaling out of the house um right now i'm not going out but i do anticipate that i will be going out and taking my planner and journal with me in the future so i've set it up that way so that i am not wanting anything when i'm outside also okay so in the first pocket is this um tsukineko stamp pad it's in pearlescent rust it's a kind of brownish copperish color and then in the other pocket i have another stamp pad another ink pad it's a versa fine another chukineko one this time in the color habanero it's a super hot orange <laughs> technically i can fit both of these into one pocket it's that roomy but they're they look kind of buggy so i just put them in separate pockets since i have room anyway and then these are planner clips of course one is silver the other is rose gold i use them to clip pages and um, open them up when i take journal photos and also when i plan on journal and I need a spread open so these help with that and then in the large pocket I have two things one is lip balm the Occitan because my lips are always chapped so I always have lip balm here all over my desk in my drawers and in other places in my house so I have it here and then this is an acrylic block for clear stamps. Let me just check what you're seeing. Okay. <laughs> and then in the pockets in the back, I have two more clips. So this is a bow clip and then another regular tiny gold clip because I just find myself wanting clips all the time so I just have them in case I need them and then in the other pocket I just have a Starbucks card if you've seen my other planner and journal videos I'll throw up a card here so you can check out that playlist um, you would know that I love using these to cut washi. They're just very convenient and I also use them as rulers sometimes. <laughs> so I always have one in every planner, in every pouch. And then also, well, it works for coffee. 
but the Starbucks here recently changed their cards so I don't think this is going to work in Starbucks now they have the new cardboard ones that are not sturdy so I'm glad I collected these <laughs> while I could and then in the velcro pocket I have my pens my other pens so I have four here that I usually use in my planners and journals so this one is a gray zebra sarasa pen it's i love how this writes is super smooth and i love the color i haven't used this yet this is an extra one the other ones here in my pen holder in my desk um i use this in my work planner mainly and then i have a paper mate ink joy gel pen that I use in my happy planner, my everyday planner. Um, I love that the ink is real thick. This is another extra one because I have the other one here in my desk. And then this is a regular Zarasa clip black zebra gel pen. I figured I would need this <laughs> if I don't need a super special pen when I'm out filling out forms or something so this is what i'm gonna use and then this is my newest fountain pen it's a kaweko perkeo i did a journal with me recently using this for the first time so i'll throw up a card here so you can check that if you haven't seen it yeah, so this is the one in Breezy Teal. I like it. It's super smooth. Those are my four pens. Let me just get them back. Inside. Okay. Let's open this up. So inside uh, the zipper, there's a, I don't know if you can see, but there's a really, um, there's a roomy pocket uh, at the back. And then there are a couple more smaller pockets here. So um, I'm going to show you the smaller pockets first. So this is a, uh, what do you call this? Correction tape. This is correction tape from Tokyo Finds. Because I make mistakes all the time and I cannot live without this. And then another thing I can't live without is adhesive tape. So this is a Kokuyo dot liner that I need to purchase the refill of because I ran out. And then here is another ink pad. This is Ranger Ink. It's a fountain pen raised felt dye ink pad. So it's supposed to give the effect of a fountain pen. But I just love that when you stamp with it, the ink goes uneven. So there's a kind of rough feel to it <laughs> that I like. I've had this for maybe seven years now. It's amazing. And then so inside I have in the main compartment I mean I have a glue stick and then this Becky Higgins roller date stamp. I can't use the years anymore. <laughs> I think the the last year it had was what? <laughs> Maybe twenty 
2015 yes I think 2015 was the last year wow <laughs> I've had this for a very long time but I still use the month and day part of it so as you can see there are there's no ink I use the black part of the year side um, but I really need to get myself one of those perpetual date stamps so that I don't have any problems anymore and then I have my Fuji Instax uh, mini printer this one plus um, just one set of clear stamps um, because I love them they're my favorite kind of stamp this one is the busy making things clear stamp set from everyday explorers cool I love their stamps they're very high quality very thick and they stamp really well and they don't lose their stickiness and they come in this really sturdy packaging. I like that. They don't fall apart in the pouch. Okay, so as you can see, I've emptied the main pocket. And then in the big pocket here, I have just a notepad with succulents. I forgot where this is from and then there's this RJ clutch <laughs> that my friend gave me I just put a bunch of things that I can use in my planner and journal inside um, so I have let me just get all of these out Okay, so I have BT21 stickers, <laughs> more BTS, and then I have more stickers here, just some extra ones in case I need them, and then some more paper. Some sticky notes and then some masking tape sheets plus some journaling cards I love these These are from different sets that I've collected and haven't used over the years because I've had so many. And there's Archie! Okay, let me just put everything back. show you how it is when it's empty so it's actually pretty roomy all of these were in there well I wanted to show you that my passport travelers notebook fits in here it's super chunky so it's pretty funny that it fits so this clutch might be a little bit magic <laughs> because it fits perfectly in there well i decided that i don't want my traveler's notebook inside um because i'm still searching for the medium delphonics pouch so maybe when i have that roomier one i can start putting my journals in there or my planner at least the smaller ones 
um, but I was thinking I'm planning on doing a traveler's notebook wallet type sometime in the future so that would fit right in here so that I need to bring one small thing out with me it will be that wallet and inside this pouch but for now I decided I would rather have my Instax mini printer in there maybe I should just um, get everything out so you can see how much I have inside this little pouch <laughs> And then, so everything's empty. And then, in the back, I showed you my pens. And then the Starbucks card. And then I forgot to show you these. <laughs> These are magnetic clips that I also love using in my planners and journals. So here's the bow clip. And here is the other gold clip. And here it is empty. Let me just get everything in the frame so you can see. Oops, try about that. I'm not sure if everything's visible. Okay, let me move this. That's everything inside of my pouch. Okay, and then let's just put everything back. <laughs> I'm just gonna put the ink pads back. Where's the other one? Clip these. Got to take out the pens. <laughs> and then all the pens here. Starbucks card, magnetic clips, full clip. Look at how easy it is when things have pockets. <laughs> I really appreciate that. I forgot to mention that the inside big pocket has velcro. So, you know, if you want to take something that you want to keep inside that private pocket, there's Velcro. But I'm putting things in there that are bigger than what the pocket allows. So, there. And then my clear stamps there. Here's my mini printer. The glue stick, and then the roller date stamp. Okay, and pad, and crutch 
construction tape, adhesive tape. And that's it. Everything I need for this and my other journals is here. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my little what's in my planner and journal pouch uh, video. I'll see you again next week with another one. Bye!